So I arrived at the field today and uh, conditions are less than favourable. It was actually foggy, um, well that was 10 minutes ago, and uh, picked up a little bit. A little bit of slack airflow, about 3 to 4 knots I guess, maybe a bit more, um, but it's blowing the um, fog, it's lifting into low cloud, so um, I would have a go at flying. I don't think it'd be too much of a problem now, it's clear skies behind. Got uh, a good selection of uh, models here today. I've got three Bs, a triangle, <laughs> or a fly angle, um, and uh, my Spectre, so I uh, should be able to have a bit of a, bit of a fly. So the first of the three Bs, uh, laser bee, what have I done? Um, I've added a Beck, or you Beck, because Although I don't actually think it would have been the problem, the ESC was only a 0.5 amp output and was designed really for multi-rotors and flight controllers and not uh, to run servos etc and receiver. But um, we didn't have any trouble last time on hedging the bets, but also because having that means I can put it further forward and hopefully improve the CG a bit. I've also added a little bit of weight um, right forward uh, on the far end of the battery so all in all it's got more nose weight now it wasn't terrible last time but it was a little bit taily so we'll see <sighs> hey yeah uh, okay I'm going to go this way. Mind the flagpole! Yahoo! There it goes. Yeah, that is definitely better. I'm um, having to put a little bit of um, back stick in, uh, which is good, I think. Doesn't need a great deal of uh, power. We'll probably just land it so I can make a little bit of a computer alteration. I don't think I'll be able to do it up here, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, how's that? Uh, not too bad actually. Still got a little bit of prank stick. Oh, that's much better. Probably needs a mechanical alteration. Again, it's about 55%. It certainly looks very sweet. Doesn't it, though? Yeah, doesn't it, though? That's good. It's definitely not a windy day aeroplane, though, I don't think. Not really. Yeah, could it do with a little bit more weight in the nose? Oh, probably a tiny, tanky, widgy bit. Hmm. For those of you that understand that sort of stuff now, then, it does do that really nicely yep there's the hawk probably come to have a look <laughs> uh, it does roll um, but it is a bit like uh, sort of not so good so it probably wants uh, I don't know a bit more rudder I don't know probably doesn't want a bit more rudder it's already a bit twitchy <laughs> Not really designed for that, is it? It's a very pleasant, sedate, three-channel flying experience. It looks great, <laughs> and that's the main thing. Again, it uses old batteries. I was hoping to use a 2S in it, but I just couldn't get the um, CG right. I keep forgetting that when I do balsa conversions I have to add a little bit more on the nose because they never seem to be easy to achieve with um, <laughs> with uh, Depron uh, well I have to say that's uh, lovely lovely um, I'll just uh, go around again then I think What a wallowy thing. It turns nicely. Because that big wing, uh, no control surfaces on it, but um, it just rolls straight, you know, because of the 
where he drew on the ends. Woo get out of there. It is a bit slow to respond. Uh, I know that was downwind, obviously, um, so it's not necessarily a good thing. Well, it doesn't rocket climb, but it's uh, got a bit, bit of power in hand. It can get up there, but it's slow. The lumbering giant. But, uh, I mean, I'm thinking just... Uh, I can do all kinds of strange things. You can do rudder turns. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh no, it doesn't want to. I think it may be a little tiny bit underpowered. That might be um that might be sold with a slightly different prop. I think this is a slow fry <laughs> slow fly prop. Um, which is probably the best for it, but uh, if you really wanted to rack it round the sky a bit you'd probably have to go with something a bit more got a bit more poke. Yep. So, uh, Lazy Bee, yep, Lazy Bee, success. It is a bit bouncy, they're flight test wheels. <laughs> but, uh, nevertheless, success. And uh, I think the weight thing's right now, pretty much. Try and push the coin a little bit further down. Oh my goodness! Get a state of that. <sighs> it's very, very wet here today. Uh, this is um, not taped. This one because uh, it would add extra weight and make it much more difficult. This is varnished, so it shouldn't cast water pouring off the edge of the wing. It shouldn't make too much difference. Um, leave it in the sun; it will dry. It is a waterproof varnish, water-based waterproof varnish, but should be all right. I'm just going to check the battery before I disassemble it.